Welcome back to Fair Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Women's Basketball, joined by head coach Kendra Foston. Coach, uh, welcome back to the show for the first time this semester. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Robert. Busy week uh, this past week on the road as you took on Purdue Northwest Grand Valley State and able to get a split and obviously uh, playing some some good basketball here in the second half of the year. Yeah, I think um, you know I think the last couple of weeks we've been, we've been playing really well and um, you know we had a nice home stand as well uh, where I thought we played really well and, and went on the road and, and did the same thing. Um, you know we're really sharing the ball right now, really coming together um, as a group, um, solidifying you know our identity. I think is really clear. Um, and you know, really happy with with our progress. Obviously, uh, some some young kids, uh, some freshmen that have seen a lot of playing time. Yeah. And, uh, this stage of the year, really developing into more like a second year player with the way they're playing. No question, and um, you know the experience that uh, Shania Huggins and Adrian Anderson and um, even Kelsey Wyman uh, earlier in the year, even though she's not you know playing now because of injury, but those three have really really helped us take some huge steps forward. This past week, uh, taking on Purdue Northwest on Thursday night, and as we get ready to go to the highlights, uh, first ever matchup, and uh, didn't yeah. know a whole lot about them uh, coming into the conference season. Yeah, had no idea. Never been there. Um, you know, nice, nice place. Um, good team. They're losing a lot of close games. Um, you know, I don't know that we particularly started well, um, but I think second through fourth quarter was was really positive. Able to get out to the early lead here and uh, kind of back and forth here in this first half before mm -hmm. uh, you eventually take a nine point halftime lead. Yeah, you know, I think our press helped us with that and we've been using our press a little intermittently. Um, and, and and it's, you know, we're good for a couple of steer, steals and quick baskets. Um, and, and with certain lineups, like at particular at the end of this game, um, we could put some really athletic lineups out there. And um, I think that's when we, you know, really pull away. Lily George right there with the basketball to Lexi Bush. Both of those uh, players have been shooting the ball well yes, for you. Yes, yes. Um, I thought Lexi responded really well in the Grand Valley game. In the second half, she really shot the ball well. Lily George, since we have come back from Christmas, has just been just gaining confidence and kind of, she's in what we call the zone, and and it, she's been really good. Nine point halftime lead and really able to extend it with a, a big third quarter here, uh, able to put up 34 points here in a. A quick uh, up and down third quarter of action. Yeah, no question. It, I think it was fun to watch. Well, at least it was it was for me, and I think our players thought it was was fun to play. Um, but we're really moving the ball well, and that's how we're scoring a lot of points. Our, our pressure, and then you know, making the extra pass. We're getting high percentage shots, and um, and we're knocking them down. Obviously, uh, Rachel McInerney had uh, another big game for you, but you got players like Riley Blair, Abby Nackfor off the bench that had a nice game here. At Abby had a huge game, and, and Rachel didn't play much in the second half. She, you know, she got hurt, and um, and she didn't play much in the second half. And I thought our team responded really well to that. You know, our leading scorer and our captain out, um, and you know, we just we kept going, and um, you could see Margot Brown. It, it was really nice too to get some players that that are really good players that work really hard um, that allow us, I think the reason in, in January that we can get better is because the players who n aren't getting minutes on the floor um, in games, they value their role, um, they work hard in practice, and um, and, and they push us to, to be even better. And the level of uh, respect that our team has for our players and their roles that don't necessarily show in game day um, you know, I think is what makes our program pretty special. 94-68, the, the final score, uh, then you come back home, uh, you travel to Grand Valley State on Saturday night, and obviously a, a big game in terms of the rivalry as it always is. Yeah, no question. You know, it's great going down to Purdue Northwest because you, you gain an hour and then coming home, it was <laughs> seemed pretty late. Um, but yeah, we you know, we had a night game the next day, so you know, we shot around, we did some good things. Um, I thought the Grand Valley game, we, we had some really good spurts. Um, you know, the first quarter was solid. The second quarter was, if we could skip it, we would. Um, you know, we, we gave up some easy threes, some O boards, um, and, and we didn't finish particularly well. And then I thought we came out of halftime and did some really good things. Certainly we scored really well in the second half. Um, you know, I think our players made some good adjustments and, 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 and our staff um, and, and you know, got it going a little bit. Obviously, we see right here uh, second quarter of action. You mentioned uh, was kind of kind of the quarter that hurt you. They mm -hmm. uh, really shot the ball well from the outside in that second quarter. Yeah, I think they hit three threes or two or th you know three threes in the in the second quarter. Um, you know, and and that right there, you just saw Shania with her runner. That that's what we really, really, um, really needed. She came in and gave us some great minutes, and then you see the steal that right there before halftime to get us some momentum going forward. 33-19 at halftime. Uh, we'll see uh, the Bulldogs. They'll come out here in the third quarter. Lexi Bush really got you going. Yeah, I, I think <clears throat> for Lexi, 
to have the first half that she had and come and have the second half that she had is a testament to her um, her leadership, her mental toughness, her desire. I mean, she is she's a remarkable young woman, and she responded, um, you know, better than than we could ask. Obviously, uh, you're able to cut it back into single digits here mm -hmm. with another big three here, uh, but they uh, were ma able to make enough plays uh, to kind of extend that lead. Yeah, I, I, I think they made big plays down the stretch. I mean, they're a really good team. There is no question. Um, they're really talented. They're really big. They rebound really well at every spot, um, and, and they can shoot it. And I thought we did a good job on Parmley, and we lost some of their guards. And, um, you know, with them, sometimes it's, it's pick your poison. You, 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 you can't uh, key in on, on one player because, you know, some other kids are capable of scoring, certainly. You mentioned uh, the size, obviously, uh, they had the advantage inside, uh, battled some injuries uh, on the inside, and mm -hmm. really leaves Rachel as your, your one true post player down there, uh, Lo. Yeah, you know, we, we miss Brian, and, uh, and, you know, she'll be back, and we feel good about that. But, you know, she, <clears throat> she had a concussion, and we, what we don't do is mess around with your head. Um, so we've just, you know, that's what it was, and um, we'll be back, and we'll be get, Rachel will be healthy, and, and we'll, be, we'll be in a good place, ready to, you know, start another run. This week, uh, taking on Lake Superior State, mm -hmm. a team you've seen once before and uh, played once before. Uh, got a full week to prepare. Uh, just talk about the matchup on Saturday. Yeah, you know they're they're tough. They're they're a really scary team. Um, I don't think their record s says that, but um, you know they can shoot it and and their post player inside. I mean, literally, um, we do everything we can to stop her from going left, and and it just keeps happening, and it happens you know to everybody in the league. And so um, they they play really hard. Um, they're really physical inside. Uh, so we, we'll have our work cut out for us. Obviously a three-game homestand uh, starting up uh, this Saturday. Any <laughs> chance here as you take on these teams for the second time? Maybe maybe to make a run here as you look toward the Gouillac. Yeah, you say three-game homestand and I, I start smiling. Um, yeah, I mean, <coughs> we have uh, Lake State and then we have uh, Saginaw and Northwood coming in. And um, I think those are all games that, you know, we can play well against those teams and uh, we'll let the outcome take care of itself. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck to the Bulldogs uh, this coming week as you host Lake Superior on Saturday at 3. Thanks, Robert. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.